Welcome back to the channel. We are Carol and Ken and we are currently touring the Isle of Man. In this episode, we take a walk around the beautiful seaside village of Laxey, say hello to the local cat, get surprised by an electric tram. We take a ride on the smallest steam train ever, climb to the top of the great so? Laxley wheel the easy bit coming up. and explore the underground mines. And we end the day in a very precarious position indeed. No. This isn't the hairpin, is it? No. So I have Careful a going back. Now, have I? Not just yet. Thanks for that. Sorry, misread the map. Those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, tiny Nissan MV200, built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. We've just spent a very peaceful night here on the seafront at Laxey. Someone else has lost a shoe, or have we got another one-legged child, as Aid would say? We've just noticed that there's quite a few camper vans in the car park at the back here. There's also a cafe, but it doesn't seem to be open yet. Nice place to have a house. Carol's off on another one of her walks, so I think I'd better hand over to her now. Not so many pebbles down here by the sea line some sort of diving platform here in the sea. One brave soul that made it to the end of the beach, I think. Some very jagged rocks here and a derelict house. back at the van. So hopefully Ken has got the coffee on. No, no, no coffee. I'm trying to sort out charging all my stuff. So I got sidetracked in that, I'm afraid. Oh dear. It's this blooming Mac, you know, it doesn't charge. And uh, if it goes flat, we'll be in real trouble. Yeah. So I'm gonna try something else. Right. Are you ready for briefing on the new cable regime? Yes, we'll see how long this one lasts. Yeah, well, hopefully longer. So, up here are the three cables I need for charging the microphones. To charge your iPad and your Kindle will be a cable to charge my Mac. And then I think that's us covered. And that's where they're going to stay. During the day. During the day, yeah, yeah. Nobody's hopped back for this shoe yet. Carol's making the coffee because I can't hack it. Having sorted all the cables out, I haven't got any energy left, have I, Charlie? You had the cable debacle to sort out. The which... major cable debacle. And it's worn you out completely. This swimmer is doing lengths across the entirety of the bay.
It's my turn to go for a wander now. So I had a little look down the end of the pier. When the tide's in, it's quite a noisy spot to park. Down the end there is another cafe and they've got toilets there. Exploring Charlie Brown. Yeah. I just need somewhere to put my glasses, really. Yeah. There's not enough pockets in this well, one. I'll give you my little belt thing in a minute when I get this out my rucksack. Right. It's got his chocks out. There's a guy flying a drone here but I doubt he knows he's in a restricted area. <laughs> Lovely little place this, I like this a lot. It's very quaint. Yeah. Pretty. Hello puss. Puss, 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 puss. Hello puss, puss. Oh, are you friendly? Are you friendly? Hello puss, puss. How are you? How are you? Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hello. You're lovely. You're lovely, aren't you? Oh, there's the dog inside. <laughs> I thought I could hear a dog talking. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hello. You're beautiful, aren't you? You're beautiful. <laughs> Turns out if you want to stay in that car park, you need a permit. I'm not really sure where you get them. Are these rose hips or are they something probably poisonous? I don't think I've seen them as big as that before. No. So you're allowed to park for 18 hours. Oh, I see. 24. 18 hours. Or else you have to buy a permit, I presume. Let's see. There was a sign here explaining that the original bridge had been washed away in a serious flood. Periwinkle Cottage. Pixie Cottage. Yeah. This anchor is from a ship called Thorn, which uh, wrecked in 1890, and it was full of liquor and the locals made good use of it. We enjoyed our walk around Laxey, but now it's time to move on. And we're out of here. Watch these people. Yeah, I've just got to turn around. Head southwest, then sharp right. The distances between places is so short yeah, here that um, it's too much trouble to keep putting the iPad up. So we've gone back to using the phone for navigation. There's some very steep hills on the island. Far better to creep up them in first gear than risk losing momentum when changing gear. Without any real warning, we met one of the trams. No, not that I can see. I don't know to be honest. I didn't see any barrier or anything. Or... They said give way, that's all. <coughs> what, as a sign? Or... Yeah, 
So there was no light? No. Now up here is the Great Laxey Wheel and also uh, a little railway that used to be used during the mining. Well there's a train in the station so let's see if we can get a ticket. There's a big water wheel here as well right by the station. Well, it's a dinky little engine. No cab for the operator, they just perch at the end. Keep your head down as you're going in. Super, thank you. thank you. If you don't like cramped spaces, then maybe this isn't for you. <coughs> we're on. Seconds later, we were off. about to go through the only railway tunnel on the Isle of Man. Now this journey turned out to be much shorter than we anticipated. It's only a few hundred metres to the end of the track. Normally on a good day you can see the top step fell, it's a bit busty at the minute. If you, you have a choice here, you can hop out and walk up to the wheel, it's only a five minute wonder, and we're going back and forwards all day. Right. Um, and if you go up that way, you can get to the other, and there's a big schematic there showing you the different levels and shafts on the mine. Right. Or you can just go straight back. We opted to get off and go and have a look at the schematic. Yeah. So this is the main entrance to the mine, which connects to the Adit level. The Adit level was one and a half miles long and connected all the other tunnels within the mine which were over 2,000 feet deep. Mm. So the mining here for lead and zinc began in the 1780s and the uh, wagons were originally hauled by ponies. All the bench seats were soaking wet from the rain and you had to clean them off yourself. Masks are not big here bunnies, so I don't think we need to wear them. At least you're going to get real Heinz baked beans if you order here. So this is nacho chilies, yeah. and what's that? A falafel wrap with salad and coleslaw. And how much is all this? 
and with the tea, £20.25. Right, thank you, Becky. Nachos were very nice, but the portion size was smaller than I was expecting. This little robin looks like it's had a hard life. Oh, the chilli is very nice, got a nice kick to it. There's your falafel. And tasty. It's got some chilli sauce in it as well, so All right. nice and spicy. Mm. Yeah, I really enjoyed those uh, nacho chilli. We should do that in the van, shouldn't we? Nice and easy with a tin of, um, what do you call it, uh, bag, bag chilli, chili. bag yeah. of nachos, mm. some grated cheese. There's water wheels everywhere you look here. It's only a short walk from the tea rooms to the Great Laxey Wheel. The kids are very boisterous today. Two adults. Yes. Yeah. Joint one, yeah, right. All oh, right. Three okay, brilliant. Members, oh, lovely. Okay, thanks okay, very much. Thank you. The flag of the Isle of Man is composed of three armoured legs with golden spurs upon a red background. It's been the official flag of Man since the 1st of December 1932 and is based on the Manx coat of arms. Still some more coming. Yeah. The spiral staircase is fairly easy to climb, but you really don't want to meet anyone on the way up or down. You will definitely encounter bottlenecks when there are other people around. <laughs> the Great Laxey Wheel is the largest working water wheel in the world. And it's a brilliant example of Victorian engineering, built in 1854 to pump water from the Laxey mines. A few moments later, we were able to complete the climb to the top. I thought this was a culvert for water, but it's actually a huge connecting rod from the engine. If you don't like heights, I suggest you look away now. I think this poor lady here is frozen to the handrail. What were you saying? I think that was the easy bit coming up. Yeah. yeah it's going to be worse down, going down. down. Yeah. <laughs> Getting under that beam. Yeah. The wheel is also known as Lady Isabella and it's built into the hillside above the village of Laxey. It's 72 feet 6 inches in diameter and 6 feet wide. It revolves at approximately 3 revolutions per minute. It was named Lady Isabella after the wife of the Lieutenant Governor Charles Hope who was the island's governor at that time. The Isle of Man does not have its own coal supply, so water was the choice of power to keep the mines clear. That's it, there's no one else up there, no. Tell my wife that on the way back. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah.
Just down there is the entrance to the mine. There's a large photograph here of some of the miners who used to work at this particular pit. Nice and cool in here, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Darkness yeah. with the old wooden beams. I think this was luxury, is now luxury compared to probably what it was like. Yeah, that Water all dripping down, running down the walls. And we've got the railway line. Oh, it's tripping right down the back of my neck. I'll take a photo of you just past this back light. Okay, all right then. Tell me when you want me to stop. Okay. I'm ready. Oh no, what happened Oh dear. It's like the photographer. The mime was good just deep enough to give you an appreciation of what it might have been like back in the day. Quite a queue had built up for the little return journey on the steam train, so we gave that a miss and decided to walk back down alongside the river. Just below the railway station is another giant water wheel. This area is known as the washing floor. The lead and zinc ore was tipped out here, sorted and crushed before being transported down to the harbour. Are we off to? Going to the bungalow, which is a viewpoint on the TT race course oh, near lovely. the Snowfell Summit. So we had a lovely walk around the wheel. We did. A bit hot and sticky now, isn't it? Very uh, muggy. Very yeah. muggy. Yeah. So we're going to find a place to park up and relax for the rest of the day now. Nice cup of tea. Let's go. These hills are very steep. Glad it's you driving, not me. Yeah. God, you've got a hairpin here now. That's correct. No. So I have to go back. Now, I have 
Have I? Not just yet. Thanks for that. Sorry, misread the map. see what happens next join us next time if you enjoyed the video give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the little red camper